Today we want to show you how we make a flamingo print using a jelly plate. Before we started we chose a color palette that suited the vision we had for our print. We applied the first layer onto our jelly plate. We are using a linoleum roll to spread out the paint with a really light hand. We are using something called imitated Japanese paper. We really like that the Japanese paper is transparent once you glue it onto something else. We are using parchment paper in between the Japanese paper and our hands. This way it's easier to slide with the hands on top of the paper and we avoid getting paint on our hands because the Japanese paper is very thin. And now we have our first basic print. We will not clean the plate and we will not let it dry because these colors go well together. And we really like the effect when some of the old color is in the print as well. The Japanese paper can be a bit difficult to handle sometimes, especially when it's wet. But it's not fragile, so don't be afraid to tear it. We usually make a lot of prints, so we have something to work with and something to choose from. So we want to go in with another layer. And to make this layer a little bit more exciting, we are going to use a pattern. As you can see, the colors are behaving very well, not mixing with each other. But we chose this palette so that if they would mix, it would still be okay and it would not be a mess, because these colors would mix really well. The item we are getting our pattern from here is an old placemat. You can use almost anything. It's important to put a bit of pressure on the item, so you are sure that the pattern will stay in the jelly plate once you remove the item again. And again we are using the parchment paper to avoid getting paint on our hands. Now we are adding the pattern to one of our basic prints. As you can see, sometimes the Japanese paper is more difficult to handle than other times. But we always say it's okay if something goes wrong. Either you can fix it later, or maybe you will have a little gift you wouldn't have if it didn't go wrong.
Now we let our print dry and clean the jelly plate. But no need for you to see that. Let's jump right to the flamingo. We place our stencil on the jelly plate and go in with a black paint. We are using a foam brush. Yeah, and you might think, are they making a black flamingo? But we are not. This is only to outline the flamingo. Now we start removing the black paint again. First we take the upper layer with the paper. And then we take a wet wipe. It's important to try and push the paint to the edges because we want that line. Now we are adding a little bit different colors to give the flamingo nuances. Here you can really use your imagination and be creative with the colors. We chose to keep it in a certain color scheme this time. Once you have covered the whole flamingo, it's time to remove the stencil. Now you choose one of your basic prints to add the flamingo onto. We always check in one corner before lifting off the whole paper. And there we have our flamingo with a black outline and red nuances. When it's dry, we glue it onto a watercolor paper. First, we make sure to place it in the middle of the watercolor paper. Then we either use our hand or an item to keep it there. We take a little bit at a time. 
First, we brush glue onto the watercolor paper. Then we flip over the Japanese paper, brushing glue onto that as well. The glue we are using is actually a varnish, which is totally transparent. It is important to keep the paper however it is easy for you. Gide is turning it around because she wants to use her right hand for gluing. I think you got the clue now with taking a little bit at a time. So let's jump to the end. We always try to avoid air bubbles, so we try to straighten them out with the brush. There might occur some wrinkles as well, but we don't mind them. We feel like it adds a bit of texture to the print and that's alright with us. When it's dry, we put it under some pressure, some heavy books or something, to straighten it out. And then we might frame it. This was our way of making a flamingo print. Thank you for watching. We hope you have enjoyed and we hope you were inspired to make one yourself.